Hi everybody, it's Suzanne A. Wells and it's time for another eBay supersized sales of $100 or more. Today's date is September 28th, 2021. The sales in this video come from my Facebook group where every month we have a dedicated thread where sellers can post their sales of $100 or more. We also have the regular Money Making Mondays every single week where you can post your other sales. And every month this thread becomes more popular. As of today, there are 238 comments on this thread. So it's a great place to learn what actually sold for other sellers so that you can look for those items too. And just a reminder that sellers post what they found, where they found it, how much they paid for it, and show us what it sold for. And there's some really interesting backstories. So unfortunately, not all sales are included in this video because it would just be incredibly long. So I'm gonna give you some highlights. We're gonna start off with Jill Woodruff Stanton bought these at the local thrift for $4.50 on half price day. I don't usually do shoes, but have seen Vapor Max mentioned in a few reseller videos. Listed a bit higher, took a $100 offer in about a month. So there you can see Nike Vapor Max Fly Knit Shoes, women's size seven. $4.50 sold for a hundred and those are definitely eye-catching and unique looking so file that one away in your brain and be on the lookout next is Sue Chapman my husband found this at a local yard sale for a dollar I thought oh boy this thing will never sell but comps were good so I listed it and it sold Vintage Japanese Lantern Cast Iron Pagoda Candle Holder sold for $100 and it cost her $1. Now we have Jody Clark paid $7 at a thrift store for these 11 vintage new sealed cassette tapes sold in a few hours of best offer of $100 plus free shipping. So the listing was for 11 Maxell High Bias Type 2 Blank Cassette Tapes. Paid $7, sold for 100 Okay, Margie Shore de Molina bought this costume on clearance at Toys R Us for $4 back in 2004 for my son. So basically free to me. He never wore it and it's been in storage ever since. Sold for best offer of $105 plus shipping in just under three weeks. So it's the Sully costume from Monsters, Inc. Kid size four to six. If you wanna get technical, you can say $4 investment back in 2004. <laughs> and it sold for $105. Okay, Ginger Lampbright bought last Saturday at our local thrift store fill a bag for $5. My bag wasn't completely full, so they charged me $4. Cost was probably 75 cents to a dollar per item in the bag. Sold once for best offer of $90. Buyer never paid relisted this and this time it sold in less than a day for $105 plus shipping headed to Australia. The item is Hero Quest game 99% complete. So worst case scenario was a dollar if you divided out her cost for the bag and it sold for $105. Next up is Mandy Kim, 
found at Goodwill in August for $6.99 just listed Tuesday of this week. I knew it was a high-end item by the touch and then did comps and saw how much these polos go for. Sold for $114. Had a 5% off sale going for my store. The item is Masters by Peter Millar Summer Comfort Men's Polo Shirt. And this item actually has two things going for it. First is that brand, Peter Millar, which is sold at higher end stores. Those are $100 new easy. And also it has the Masters logo. So both of those combined made this a valuable item. And it was also a size large. So in my experience of selling golf shirts, the larger sizes usually sell better than the smaller. So this was a great pick. Peter Millar Masters Golf Shirt. Okay, Christy Anderson. This was a fun one. Came from a garage sale in the free box. Sold for $114.50 on seven day auction. There were 29 watchers and over 20 bids. This is a vintage three stripe trucker hat with an ad for A1 sewage services. <laughs> so think about that. Only on eBay, right? Can you make over a hundred bucks selling a hat with an ad for sewage services? So it was free to her and sold for $114.50. Ann Flood Rice bought this at a local thrift for $6.48. I just pay tax on everything at the thrift stores, saves the hassle of being pegged as a reseller. Had to look it up in the store since I'd never heard of the brand. I'll look up anything I find that's new. It was missing the storage containers that went with it but it sold great anyway. Took about two months to sell. If I was working outside the home, I would have been tempted to keep it. The item is Blue Six Pack Fitness Travel Kit. And again, she paid $6.48 and it sold for $115.50. Okay, Rowena Philbeck. She actually contacted me about how to get in this group so she could post her item. So of course I need to include her in the video. She bought this vintage Pyrex Princess Balloon Bowl at Goodwill for $1.99, sold it for asking price of $121 and $10 shipping the same day. Perfect condition. I did check prices of others that sold. I was thrilled at the sale. Linda Fay, also new to the group. She says, I'm new to the group, but have been watching the Supersize Sales videos on YouTube for a couple of months. I recently saw the one where Daisy Kingdom fabric was mentioned, and I knew exactly what it was because it was all the rage when my daughters were small. A few weeks later, while Goodwill shopping, lo and behold, there it was. I had to do a double take and then check the selvage to make extra sure. It was just under two yards and priced at $2.49, but with my senior discount, I ended up paying $2.02. .02. I couldn't find a comp for this particular design, so I listed it on a seven day auction starting at $59.99. I was very happy with the outcome. So her cost was $2.02. .02 and the Daisy Kingdom fabric sold for $122.50. Congratulations on that sale and welcome to the group. Okay, Carol Staten paid $15 average buy cost in a lot. Took me a month to get her listed and sold in two weeks. Biggest sale to date, fingers crossed for safe arrival. That was on September 9th. So Carol, if you want to check in and let us know if it arrived okay. This is Monster High Doll, Skeleta, Day of the Dead, new in box. 
$15 sold for $124.99. Okay, Jill Stanton has another one. I paid up from what I am normally comfortable with $29.99 for this spooky town piece at Goodwill. It paid off. It was listed less than a week. The item is Lemax Spooky Town Halloween Village Dr. Stretch and Pull's Torture Factory. <laughs> wow, lot, just in time for Halloween. And this sold for $125. She paid $30. Julie Gambino purchased at Goodwill for $14.98, sold for full asking price of $129.99 after about a month. Vintage 1970 Empire Santa Claus Sleigh Reindeer Tabletop 24 inch Blow Mold. Keywords there, that's what makes it valuable. It's a blow mold. Paid $15, it sold for $130. Okay, now we have Carol Shore Kirk. I sold a Mod Francie for a best offer of $127 plus shipping. I bought her locally on Facebook Marketplace and I have about $25 into her. She took less than 24 hours to sell. So this is a type of Barbie doll. So she paid 25 and it sold for 127 on best offer. And then she has another doll. This one is Barbie Growing Pretty Hair 1972. She said, I sold the Mod Barbie to the same buyer that bought the Francie for a best offer of 137 plus shipping. Bought her on Facebook Marketplace for about $25. So both of those sold pretty quickly and were found on Facebook Marketplace. Okay, Alicia Alexander. Mom paid a dollar at a garage sale and this sold at seven day auction for $138.50. This is vintage Lisa Frank smiley face flower collector's gift box. A dollar and it sold for $138.50. And while we're on the topic of Lisa Frank, this is a brand that is in my Bolo book. So if you're not familiar with it, Lisa Frank made all kinds of funky things back in the 90s and those items are worth a lot of money today. Some up to $500. So you can see there it is on page 116 of the Bolo book. If you do not have yours yet, the link is below the video. I also sell it in my eBay store and you can go and read the feedback from sellers who have purchased this book and how it is helping them in their business to recognize those high dollar items, how they're using it and most of them are saying that they had no idea that some of the items were even sought after. So go to my eBay store and just look at what this book is about because it's about helping you make more money and of course you can research all of this yourself online but what I've done is compiled all this information over years of these Money Making Mondays posts and videos and extracted the important stuff and put it in a book that you can take with you or you can just study it at home. So if you want to be able to more quickly recognize these high dollar items when you're out at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, even in your own home, this book will definitely help you get there. Okay, and now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Here's a fun vintage item. Beth Ann said she picked this up at a very small estate sale a couple of weeks ago for a dollar only because I thought it was old and cute. Research showed I should probably sell it rather than keep it. And this is Ammo Cat, which is Tacoma spelled backwards. 
vintage rare spice tin. She paid a dollar and it sold for a hundred and forty one dollars and twenty five cents and Michelle Mari said I love the graphics on that congrats on the sale so this is when you pause the video and you run to your spice cabinet or you go to your parents house and look at their spice cabinet <laughs> to see if they have anything like this because these old spice tins are highly collectible um, even the little medicine tins like uh, you know bear aspirin used to come in all of that stuff is highly collectible and could be worth a lot of money just like this one. Now here is probably the most strange listing I've ever seen in the Money Making Mondays <laughs> simply because it's just such a mundane item. This is Cameron Hilty says, hello again, I own a small landscaping business where I sell rocks locally and online and I always chuckle a little when I make these large dollar sales. For this listing, I sell a box of 50 pounds for $50 with volume pricing discounts. The buyer purchased a box and was so satisfied she decided she wanted to buy three more boxes and might be looking to get more in the future. So the listing was for a 50 pound plus box of rocks. Look at the picture. It's landscaping rocks. Uh, not that this is a strange item, but whoever would have thought this? I mean, it's just as mind blowing as selling empty toilet paper tubes uh, that people use for crafts and stuff like that. So um, $147 for some rocks, but this seller is in the landscaping business and knows the value of the item. So we go back again to that annoying thing I say all the time. It's not where you go, it's what you know. And Cameron knows enough to put together this listing and sell rocks. Now what I was confused on Cameron, if you are watching this and can comment, um, it says free shipping. So did you actually ship these for free or was it a local pickup deal? I'd be interested to know if you are actually shipping these. Okay, next up is Jimmy Smith. Short, sweet, and to the point, paid 25 cents at an estate sale for Beetlejuice VHS Rare, brand new and sealed. It sold for $150 for a VHS. And what I understand people are doing with these is they are you know framing them or um, encapsulating them for display so it doesn't matter if it's old and if it's been stored in an attic and if the inside tape part is completely melted none of that matters this was new and sealed and that might be what's going to happen to it is the buyer is going to do something to display it they're not even going to you know put it in a, a VCR and try to play it so some food for thought there 25 cents sold for 150 okay now we've got Leslie Kidd picked up these vintage stained glass lighted Christmas houses at Salvation Army for $14 during their Christmas in July sale I procrastinated listing them and finally did on Monday. They sold in three days for full asking price to a buyer in China. The item is Vintage Village Christmas on Main Street Stained Glass Lighted Houses Set of Three. And those are quite beautiful. $150. And she paid $14. Okay, next up is Wendy Hodge probably paid two dollars from a local thrift it came in a lot with another copper pot with lid sold for hundred and ninety five dollars three magnolite aluminum pots with lids sold one pot for hundred and twenty dollars two beer glasses a Le Creuset pot with lid 
and the Sterilite container I put them in. All was $19.40. The item here that sold is vintage all clad copper and stainless steel three quart sauce pot and lid, $150. And I would love to know, Wendy, if you found it that clean or how much time you spent cleaning it because the pots and pans that I see at my thrift stores are yucko. <laughs> and I just look at it and think, I just don't want to clean that. So I would love to know if you found it this pristine or if you had to clean it. Holly Johnson paid $1 at an estate sale, sold in 30 minutes. I listed for $175 and they used my 10% off coupon. I bought it because I saw it had a five pin connector and when I went to list it realized it was a model that is rare that is worth money. Put it on your Bolo list. IBM Space Saver Keyboard. $157.50 and she paid a dollar. Okay, Terry Gonzalez. Picked this up at an estate sale for $15. They come in a beautiful green wooden box, definitely vintage, but not sure how old. Had them listed for $199 for a couple of weeks and someone offered $160 and I took it plus shipping, meaning it was not free shipping. This is 12 Days of Christmas Glass Ornament Set uh, from Germany with the wooden box. $15 and she sold it for $160. Ginger Lamprite is back. Bought at an estate sale last Friday for $15. Couldn't find an exact sold comp on eBay, so I found one elsewhere to give me an idea on price. Listed it for $199.99. Accepted a best offer of $175 plus shipping on Monday. Anything Omnicord seems to be a great bolo. So $15 and sold for $175. Okay, we have Kim Smith with some men's jeans. Listed at the end of May, found at Goodwill for $7.57. I've never heard of this brand before, but this is the second pair I have sold. Definitely a bolo, sold for $180. This is Capital Kiro Hirata Blue Denim Men's Jeans. Now, Kim, if you're watching, I would love to know if you are a jeans reseller. Do you know? the brands more than most sellers because that's what you specialize in or did you just notice this and it just caught your eye because um, sometimes when I see that you know oh, I've never heard of this brand before it what is your perspective there are you an expert and you know a lot of brands or you just it wasn't Levi's or Lee or Miss Me or any of those ones we see all the time so if you can comment, that would be great. Okay, Melanie Johnson paid $3 at a thrift store, sold in a day for full price. And here we have those Lisa Frank again. Eight vintage Lisa Frank figures, stamps, ballerina, bunny, puppy, pearls, magician, and bear. So $3 and she sold them for $199. And they're just little plastic things. Uh, now some of those you might could tell they're Lisa Frank, like this bunny in the back with the multicolored dress or the panda bear holding the um, either crayons or paintbrushes there. I'm not sure what that is. But the other ones you might not realize those were Lisa Frank. So um, that's an interesting find. Three dollars sold for $199. Okay, Ginger has a fun item. I picked this up at a garage sale today for $5. I listed it when I got home this afternoon. Went out to eat, and when I got back home, ka-ching! Full asking price of $199.99 plus shipping. Obviously, I should have priced it higher. Still an easy, profitable flip. 
I don't know about that, Ginger. I mean, you know, people have alerts and they get notified as soon as something with the same keywords is listed. So they may have been waiting for this item and, you know, don't beat yourself up about should have priced it higher because you, you don't know that for sure. Okay, Olivia Poole paid $7.63 for this coffee pot at a local thrift store. Love weird small appliances. This was a coffee pot made by Bosch for Porsche. Pristine ones will sell for over $300. Mine had scrapes and some visual flaws, so I listed at $219.99 and sold on offer to buyer for $199.99 in less than a week. So you can see there it's a funky looking coffee maker and her investment was $7.63 for a $200 sale. Okay, Jody Clark is back. Paid $20 off Facebook Marketplace for this Panasonic DMR blah 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 bunch of numbers VHS DVD recorder. Sold in a few hours for best offer of $220 plus free shipping. So $20 turned into $220 in just a couple of hours. And folks, this is legal. <laughs> Where else can you do that that's legal? Make that much money that fast. So isn't that why we love eBay? All right, next up is, I don't know, I chopped their name off. Um, I, I think it's Cora Allen. Sorry about that, Cora. <laughs> Paid $6 at a local thrift store and it sold in less than 24 hours for full price plus shipping. Disney Store Bolt 32 inch plush dog large laying down. And Jennifer commented, uh, great sale. I probably wouldn't have given him a second glance thinking Bolt wasn't a super popular character. And Cora said, me too, except that I thought I remembered reading probably from Money Making Mondays, that this large side sold f well and for good money. Glad I looked it up. So sorry about chopping your name off, Cora. And again, $6 sold for $225. And you can tell we're getting close to the end of the video because I'm tripping over my words and chopping off people's names. So <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, Ann Flood Rice is back. Paid up at Salvation Army for $45. Sold in 11 days to a buyer in Israel for $225. Profit after fees and shipping was $143. So this was a airbrush set with a wooden case. I'm not sure what this thing is. Um, but whatever it is, it sold for $225 and was shipped to Israel. So good pick, Ann. Okay, here's a fun one. Joy Unger bought this at the bins, probably paid about $2.50. I just thought it was such a cool thing collectors might want. Don't know why it was here in Pittsburgh. Started auction on Thursday for 10 days at $99. So she started her auction at 99 and it sold for $243.50. The item is Blues Clues VHS Big Musical Mystery Product Demo. So it has a bunch of papers and some VHS tapes and looks like a notebook with it. $2.50 sold for $243.50. Okay, Nancy Cookson Zimmer bought with a bunch of other jackets at an estate auction for $50. Sold in about two hours. Have also sold one of the jackets, Oleg Cassini Red Blazer, for $12. So this is a vintage men's reversible faux fur and satin car club jacket. So she didn't say what her investment on this one item was, but it sold for $249.97. Okay, here is our thumbnail cover item. Jennifer Mueller 
paid $5 at a garage sale. It caught my eye and I told the lady it had a great look. She told me it was a Haywood Wakefield. I had never heard of him. I left, got in my car, and thought I should look that up. I couldn't get out of my car fast enough. I had it listed about two months. I took a best offer of $250 knowing I would make an additional 30 on shipping. Shipped UPS in a Home Depot heavy duty 18 by 18 by 24 box. Her official title of this funky item is Haywood Wakefield MCM, which stands for Mid-Century Modern, Sculptura Tufted Vanity Swivel Stool. Whew! That was hard to say. And it sold for $250. Her investment was $5. Okay, it wouldn't be a $100 supersize video without Brian Rappaport. Paid $75 at an estate sale and sold for $259.99 plus shipping in less than a week. Bose strikes again. So this is a Bose Wave music system. Next up is Melissa Wenner, my highest sale yet, and only second item over $100. Bought at Uptown Cheapskate for $45. Had listed at 350 for a couple of weeks, dropped to 300 and sold about a week later. And Sheila said, I love black and brown leather together. And then Melissa said, funny story. I just listened to the podcast where Suzanne talks about sending an accidental low offer, $3 instead of $30. I got an offer for 300 and was super excited until I realized another seller was sending me an offer to buy their vest that I was watching since they were almost the same. I had mine listed at 350 but was super happy with that offer, so dropped mine to 300 and sold quick. This is a Coronado Bison Leather Vest, size 46 tall. So she paid $45 and it sold for 300 and of course we have to have a sale from KC. He said, I went through a golf club buying frenzy this summer. I can't remember where these came from, but I generally won't pay more than 20 to $30 for a set of irons. Turned out to be a higher than normal sale price for a set. Sold for $319.95 in about five weeks or so. And some of y'all were interested in what he was using to display the uh, the golf clubs and it looks like a back massage roller which I agree with that I have one just like this <laughs> I use it many times a day to get rid of tech neck and tech back so um, that was a cool way to display those because you've got the contrast of the silver um, irons against that black background so that looks pretty cool. Okay we have Jeff and Becca Fox picked up these shoes at Goodwill for ten dollars and interesting enough it was the only thing I bought that day for resale. I could tell they were vintage and they were in wonderful condition and the craftsmanship was good. After a little research I learned how rare these actually were. I listed them for $399.95, accepted an offer of $350. They sold in four hours, bought, listed, and sold on the same day. <laughs> so if that doesn't motivate you to dig into those death piles and get busy, um, I don't know what will. These are Edwin Clapp wingtip shoes, size 10 and a half, Oxford vintage, classic dress brogue uh, brogues are a type of shoes um, rare so 10 bucks sold for 350 in the same day and I hope Becca that you treated yourself or your family to something fun for dinner that night after um, working so hard on listing this one item <laughs> and having it sold. I hope you at least ordered pizza for everybody to celebrate. 
Okay, and now we're down to our last two sales, and um, this is Sean Carpenter. So we're going to start off with the lower priced one. Um, she said she found these the same day at the thrift store. The plush in a bag of 10 items. The cabbage patch, she paid $5.99 and listed it for $225. Took a best offer on the second day. Just started learning dolls. So here is the cabbage patch doll she's talking about. Vintage cabbage patch mold 19 missing teeth baldy blue eyes so he looks um, very unique and so she said she paid $5.99 and this sold for $178 and then the other item I'm going to show you was in a bag of 10 items she paid $2.99 for the bag so basically 29 cents Listed this item for $645, took a best offer in two days. And the item is Vintage Mattel, My Child Pet, Yellow Kitty Cat, 1986 plush doll. And this really reminds me of um, like a hybrid of Chewbacca from Star Wars and that thing in um, Land of the Lost that was like their little short, furry friend <laughs> that lived on the island <laughs> because this is kind of creepy looking <laughs> so anyway uh, 29 cents and it sold for $560 so what a reason to dig through the plush and she said that she has just started learning dolls so congratulations Sean Carpenter on those two great finds in the same day um, and then they sold in two days. So um, you're killing it in the plush. Thanks for sharing those sales. Okay, we've made it to the end. Thanks again to everyone who posts and comments because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. And I appreciate everyone who shares on social media because you know a lot of sellers don't wanna share their business. They don't want to share their sales. So um, I commend all of you who take the time to put your sales out there so other people can learn. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I would love your comments below and have a profitable and productive and fun day on eBay. Bye.